Remembering the start and stop codons can be helpful for step one. It was also one of those things we had to know for MCAT. Well, here is the one mnemonic you need. A quick review, translation is the process of converting mRNA to protein. So imagine that you received a message of a recipe for making a protein shake. So the mRNA, aka messenger RNA, is the message, and the protein shake is the protein. You were so excited to read the recipe when you noticed it was written as a code. Well, you decided to attend a coding school to learn how to translate the message of the hidden recipe. And the hidden recipe was comprised of codons. Coding school helps me associate translation with codons. So where does the codon start within the message? Well, remember, you attended coding school and school started in August abbreviated as AUG. Well, the start codon is AUG. This should be easy to remember since school usually starts in the fall. So just remember AUG as in August and you will remember the starting codon. And here's something extra. The classes were in person. So students met at the school. Met, M-E-T, is for the amino acid methionine, which is what AUG codes for. Aha, uh -huh, that was a good one, right? So for the stop codons, I think of at the end of the year when you try to find out if you passed your class. Well, how did you know if you passed? You got a report card with the following evaluation written as codons and you translated them. UGA, you got A. UAG, you are great. UAA, you are awesome. Okay, look also here that UGA and UAG have the last two letters switched. Whoa, blew your mind, huh? Basically, if you saw any of those three codons, you knew you passed, which means any of those three are the stop codons in an mRNA. Yay! Well, you passed your class, which means you translated the message code for the hidden recipe and made your protein shake. And this is for your reference. See you guys next time.